I am Dr. Bernard Nathanson, last surviving founding member of NARAL, the pro-abortion organization we founded in New York City in the late 1960s. We founded NARAL with the goal to export our pro-abortion mentality across the land. One of our strategies in order to mislead the American public was to deny what we knew to be true, that an abortion kills an existing human being. This was the greatest mistake of my life and the greatest mistake in our nation's history. The people of South Dakota can end the use of abortion as birth control in their state by voting yes on Initiative 11 on November 4. Way to go, sir. Glad to hear it. Now, a woman who has always been pro-life for two reasons. One, she's a Christian, and two, she actually escaped an abortion. You were two pounds at birth. Doctor says you'd never be able to hold your head up, sit up, crawl, or walk. You've run marathons. <laughs> By the grace of God, yes. <laughs> what an amazing story. Well, I have the gift of cerebral palsy. I'm adopted, mm -hmm. and I found out from my adopted parents that I had survived an abortion. What do you but, mean? When you say the gift of cerebral palsy, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm just unashamedly a Christian, mm -hmm. and I just, I, I can't walk without the assistance of God. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to move. So, yeah. I mean, I've got a lot of joy, and there are so many people that don't and they want some and so i feel like it's part of my mission to sort of spread that around a bit so your mother was trying to ha abort so she, you yeah saline saline abortion and i was being burned alive and i was delivered alive in a in a clinic in los angeles after 18 hours so the lack of oxygen to my brain is what caused my gift of cerebral palsy how were you saved and the abortionist was not on duty the moment that i came into this world Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Had he been, he would have ended my life with strangulation, suffocation, or leaving me there to die. He wasn't there. So a nurse called an ambulance, had me transferred to a hospital where I was placed in an incubator weighing two pounds. And one thing I'd just like to say is if abortion is merely about women's rights, then what were mine? Yeah, how's about that woman's right? to choose. Can you imagine life without that woman on this planet? Can you imagine the lives of millions of babies not on this planet? Here is where the conversation with Jenna Jessen gets very interesting on Hannity and Combs. She has the knife to actually use the correct word to describe people who are for the infant born alive protection or against it. Now this is this is this is the legislation that said if a botched abortion happens, in other words, a baby escapes death and actually comes out alive, that we have to protect that child's life. If you oppose that bill, then you are for infanticide. Shh, don't use the correct word, though. You're making the case that Barack Obama supports infanticide. He doesn't well, want to kill babies. Well, I would just, I would just ask you this. If he has, he has voted four times mm -hmm. against providing care right. for children that have survived mm -hmm. abortions well what, what would you call that well let's say we disagree about the interpretation of the law okay well would this you, has nothing no ellen this has nothing to do respectfully this has okay. nothing to do with right. roe versus wade no, this has everything to do with providing medical care for children outside of the mother's right. that are that are kicking but the, but and the breathing position and, that obama somehow supports infanticide would want you to have died ellen what would you call not providing proper medical care to uh, a baby? i would call that proper medical care was already called for Illinois law. We disagree about that. Well, also, I would just say go to bornalivetruth.org. Four times voted for that. Oh, accurate words have become so painful these days. Amazing. Here's another word, a shellac. That's, that's, that's a pretty tough word these days. Oh, when we come back, we are going to shellac you on Ratchet. <laughs>